Tonight, a memorial is growing in a North Las Vegas neighborhood as police try to determine who put a dead baby in a dumpster. The boy is between one, maybe six months old. The Clark County coroner has not yet released his cause of death. Now, he was found Sunday near Las Vegas Boulevard in Cary. While many endured the challenges of parenthood, it may be just too much for some people. Kristen Drummond shows us the option for those who need to surrender a newborn. A safe haven law exists in Nevada. It allows a parent to surrender a baby up to 30 days old at any hospital, urgent care, police, or fire station, or with an ambulance driver without any questions. We're trying to make it as convenient as possible. The agencies can accept the newborn as long as the baby does not show signs of abuse. But a reminder to parents, be aware of one aspect of the law. No, you can't leave the child unattended. Did you abandon the child? You can be charged for that. The National Safe Haven Alliance reports 11 safe haven babies relinquished in the state between 2000 and May of 2019. There's also been 11 abandonments, three babies alive, and eight deceased during that same time frame. We've seen them in, left in closets and dumpsters, different places like that. There is an alternative where you can surrender your child. UMC staff have also seen babies left at the hospital. I would say at least once a year we have a situation like that. It isn't always an infant under 30 days, though. It can be older children as well. Hi, how much older? Uh, we've seen one and two year olds in that situation. If a parent wants to surrender a child who is more than 30 days old, there are other options. They can still come to us and we can help them. We have social services that can help them. Um, we have uh, physician referrals we can help them with. An alternative to keep children alive and safe. Kristen Drummond, 8 News Now.